Captain? Spike, where are you? Where's Snobs? If we can find him, we'll find them. Marion, my patience is starting to wear thin. Sorry, but you've got to keep quiet, okay? Marion, Spike! This isn't a joke anymore. Come on, you two. Enough's enough. You know we're going to find you. Juicy bone! Come on, boy. You'll really love it. No! It's a trap! Snobs! Want a bone? <laughs> hey, Snobs! How are ya? No bone. Sorry, but I love you anyway. All right, you two. You've got ten seconds. Otherwise, it's a bucket of cold water. <sighs> I told you there was no bone, moron. You'll need this. I'm not going to school. No way. And where'd you find this? Where you buried it. <sighs> Snobs dug it up. You are so dead. <sighs> I don't have to go to school, you know. Dad said so. Where is Dad? Dad said school's the biggest waste of time in the universe. Your father never went to school. How would he know? Right, now, on your way. And you stay away from those town kids. Mum, how many times do I have to say it? These people look nothing like us. They behave nothing like us. They are nothing like us. They simply do not belong. Why on earth did you allow them to stay here? Well, there has to be a reason. Mum? Mum? Did Grandma hang up on you again? <sighs> I've never known anyone so intolerant. Hello? You ready? Nearly. Morning, Brooke. Hi, Mrs. Oakley. You're in luck. I can drive you today. Mum, what are we? Children? I've got an appointment with the headmaster. I might as well. Come on. Those new kids are starting a school today. They're coming to our school? Well, they've got to go somewhere. Exactly, darling. But preferably somewhere where they'll fit in. And that's definitely not our school. I mean, what can you learn in school that's useful? Where did I learn to ride a motorbike? Doing it. School's fun. And you'd like it too if you gave it half a chance. Oh, yeah, yeah. What? Where did that come from? There! What? Where did that come from? That's the message. Flour and water. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> Especially if it's waterproof. You're not wanted here, so nick off. The thing is, mate, it's not up to you. It's whether we like this place enough to stay here. Don't say you weren't warned. We're not gonna cop this, are we? <laughs> yep. What? Come on, let's go to school. What? Of course, I am speaking for the entire school council. Of course, Mrs Oakley, I understand. On the other hand, I would need a legitimate reason not to enrol. Personal hygiene, for starters. Excuse me. Hi. Well, I know who you are, and I can't possibly accept you. Not in that condition. OK. No problems. Sorry to bother you, sir. We can get cleaned up, sir. No, we can't. We can. Pia? Uh, uh, Mr Alexander, there's the problem of the enrolment forms. Enrolment forms? Well, you'd realise that you have to enrol at a school, and unfortunately, this school's run out of enrolment forms. Oh, uh, that's right. OK, no problems. Sorry to bother you, Mr Alexander. Oh, 
I've never heard Mum spout so much garbage. Your mum is so cool. <laughs> Told you bombing them would work. Oh, yuck. Stop it, you mongrel. That's my bag. The mongrel. This is really asking for trouble. How long do they get more enrolment forms, do you think? I wouldn't hold your breath waiting, pet. But I want to go to school. Aren't there other places around here? There are, but they won't let you in either, Pia. Sorry. Why not? Because they don't want you mixing with their kids. Not to worry, there's plenty to be done around here. There's stuff to get ready to sell at the markets. Where's Spike? And where's Marion? Can you sir? Of course. Yeah. How long have you sir? Ages. Okay, you've got an hour, but we've got to be back up the coast by this afternoon. Don't ding it. Thanks. I promise I won't. Okay, I'll feed to the guy. Abby can surf. Anyone can. Come on, Snobs. Swimmers. Can't you mind your own business? Where'd you get the bodyboard? I borrowed it. You can't learn to surf on a bodyboard. I know how to surf. You do not. I'll nick off, will ya? And if you see snobs, tell him from me that he's dead. If I see him, I'll tell him. I'll teach you how to surf. You only have to ask nicely. I need your help. Dog. What a bone. Got a 
terrific bone for you. A nice big juicy bone. <laughs> Idiot dog. Sand suddenly. Look, just because we don't like the girls doesn't mean we hate the dogs. Yeah, so nick off. Come on, Snobs. Come on, Snobs. No. Do you want some bone? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's it. Good boy, Snobs. Who's a good boy? Snobs! Where have you nicked off to this time? I found him. He came back, but now he's gone again. I saw him with Sam and Ryan and a big juicy oh. bone. They've headed towards the jetty. I've got to get back to school. If they hurt him. Oi! Thanks for the land! Hey! It's quicker the other way! What? Which way? Sorry, Brooke. Come on, I'll show you. You reckon he's going to be okay in there? Of course. He's got the bone to chew on. And Ryan's going to find him eventually. Yeah, <laughs> after he's booted his pants because he can't find him. <laughs> Snobs! Snobs! Where are you? <laughs> he must be in there. It's the sort of stupid thing they do. Scumbags. <gasps> what? We're supposed to be a couple of hours. Well, Abby must have told him she saw us with the dog. Yeah. Now we know whose side she's on. She. Yeah. This will slow him down. Stop! At least he's all right. 
We can use this on the lock. Thanks. Yes. Trust you to get sucked in by a bone. Come on. Hey, someone's broken into the shed. What's that? Oh, no, some junk. Come on, boy. It says the shed's condemned. Come on, greedy guts. The floor's rotted. Snob's gonna have bone. We should be in it. What happened? Yours, so if I can just have a chat to the little boy. What's the problem? Some kid threw a green paint over one of the girls at school. Constable here thinks it was one of ours. Sir, I know it was one of yours. I've got the fingerprints to prove it. Red-headed kid, lots of freckles. Oh, follow me. Excuse me. That shade of green? You know you should behave better than this at school, don't you? They don't go to school. Why not? Well, may you ask? Come on! I'm coming! Pull! I'm pulling! There you are. Constable. Yes, Mr Corelli. The shed on the jetty. Vandalised. Well, it has to be those feral kids. All right, come and show me. Have you guys seen Abby? She's disappeared. Oh, no, she hasn't. She's just... We haven't seen her. Sam? Yes, we have. She's down at the jetty with Marion and his dog. No, no, you're lying. Go and look for yourself. You idiots. You dogged us in. Thanks, Ryan. You don't know how much trouble she's going to be in. Hi, Mrs Oakley. It's Brooke. Have you been wondering where Abby is? <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> You're a good dog, Snobs. <laughs> if you want to believe Snobs got the rope, you believe it. Can't you read or something? I was too worried about Snobs. Snobs was fine. It says in big black letters, condemned building. It doesn't matter now. Come on, Snobs. You can't read. Of course I can read. <laughs> Snobs. If you knew the shed was condemned, why didn't you say something? OK, OK. I can't read big words. <laughs> How's he going to climb the rope? Don't you worry about snobs. What do you mean by big words? See? That's where snobs tied off the rope. How big's a word got to be before you can't read it? Just shut up and come on. There they are. I told you it was those feral kids. Well, one off them anyway. He'd do anything for a bone. Whoops! I forgot about Brooke. Hey. Hi, Constable. What are you doing in the shed? Can't you read the sign? I did, Constable. Only a little too late. Someone had locked Marion's dog in the shed. Do we know who that somebody was? Not sure. Kids, probably. All right. You two better go home and get changed and stay away from that shed, OK? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Abby, what were you doing down here with that boy? 
It was an accident. I can explain. I doubt it. Go home. I'll deal with you later. Constable, look at the state my daughter's in thanks to that boy. We simply have to do something about moving these people on. Nothing we can do, Mrs Oakley. Oh. But as long as they're here, want their kids under control. Hmm. They're going to school. Enrolment forms or no enrolment forms. Come on, Snobs. Let's go home. You and your bone. Come on. Oh. So, Marion and his dog were more important than my clothes. No, I was bringing you the clothes, except the floor fell out of the shed. We landed in the water. And I didn't get my clothes. Let's hope your mum doesn't find out you're with those feral kids. <laughs> she found out. I'm sure gonna cop it tonight. I'm sorry, Brooke. I didn't mean to leave you stranded. It's okay. Can I buy you that milkshake? Thanks, yeah. <laughs> I think I lost my money in the water. Come on. Believe this. Yesterday, they didn't want us in school, and we still don't want you. Hold it. Out of the way, boys. Come on, let them through. Come on. Good morning, one and all, and welcome to Eden Beach Primary. We like to think of ourselves as a happy little school where everyone is equal and everyone can be part of one big happy family. And you can learn to read big words. Oh, no! Hey, my bag! Hey, that's my bag! Oh, you rotten mongrel! Next on Impagia, The Price is Right, followed by Neighbours. 